Bye. How you doing, guys? What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm coming today with uh, a uh, another review. I can't stop looking at her, man. I know she doesn't have a lot of bling, you know, like my other rifles, but uh, this is like, this is my first rifle, man. So, you know, kind of, kind of touched my heart. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is a rifle and you might say, well, Raider Kev, you show us this earlier. Why is this not a rifle? So, like I told you before, because of the barrel, the barrel is short, right? And it has a pistol brace. So because of, well, the barrel didn't have much much to say about that, but the pistol brace makes this a pistol, okay? Versus this, which has a stock, but it has a 16 inch barrel. Whenever you have a 16 inch barrel, that makes it, that classifies it as a rifle. So technically, this is my first rifle, okay? So, what I like about this guy is, um, for one, it's by FN. FN is a very reputable brand. They have had, they have held multiple government contracts. And one of my sayings is, if it's good enough for the government, it's good enough for me when it comes to guns, okay? <laughs> be careful when I say that. So, um, this is a FN 15, it's uh, the Tactical 2, all right? Now, what's special about this rifle is that it's um it's simple yet it's 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 well built. Okay, um, it has um, direct pingement, the gas system, right? Um, so it just makes it an easy, well shooting gun because of how well it's made. The um, one of the I mean. Whenever you're looking for a rifle, one of the things you want to look at is how it's pinned right here, okay? You don't want movement. See, I can turn this real hard and it, there's no movement here. That makes it, that makes the barrel and the bolt, that connection makes it a very, very accurate weapon, okay? This barrel is cold forged, all right? The bolt is automatic rated this is a this is a military respect out rifle so it's going to hold it to whatever a civilian does because it's made not everything is made for the uh, military because it doesn't have the the fun switch it only has two switches here it doesn't have the fun switch but uh minus the fun switch um the automatic switch in case you don't understand what i'm saying um everything else is specced out to be um qualified for um, uh, military use okay that's what makes this gun so special and what really made this gun special was post no pre-pandemic <laughs> i caught this baby on sale for under a thousand dollars now you go on the fn website right now and you look up uh the uh, uh fn 15 tactical 2 and you're gonna see seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> so we really can't have no out of shop. So anyway, um, so let's just go through what I did. Um, I didn't do a lot to this gun. I didn't blame this gun out. Um, start with the light. I got an O light. Um, it's the the Odin O light. And what I like about this light is now it's attached to the weapon, but you can also use this light handheld. I can take this off if I desire. Use this button right here and uh, I can operate it as a regular flashlight, see? Or I can attach it to my weapon as such. It has a little magnet here, okay? Then it has a pad right here. So when I'm, when I'm operating my weapon, but if I need a light, I can hit that and it gives me a little, little um, active like feedback so I can know that it's actually on. Right, you can see it on because of the light, but it lets you know that you have hit your light. Okay, so I like that feature. Um, I love O light. Now, I'll be explaining why in other videos. I love O light. Uh, in the front, it has a three prong, three prong uh, flash hider. Um, what that does, it helps it shoot flat, and also it, it kind of hides the signature of the um, of your shots whenever um, you're shooting and um, 
you don't want people to know exactly where you are, okay? Uh, it has an M-lock system for all your attachments. I have a foregrip here. Um, I like to grab mine like this, okay? Um, I don't really use that C-clamp. I usually here, and then um, I'm shouldering it, and I'm getting a, a good pull as so, okay? Um, this came off Amazon. I didn't spend a lot of money when I decked this out, but I do have these guard rails here. Helps with heat, okay? That's a good idea. Um, my sights. I just have regular uh, polymer um, sights from Magpul. They're pretty decent. Um, I'm going to put a scope on here. I had another um, optic on here, but I took it off. Um, but I'm going to get me a scope because this weapon is really designed for... Um, you know, 200, 300 yards, and that's what I'm gonna use this weapon for. Um, my baby here is more close quarters, um, 100 within 200. Um, this is more, certainly not a sniper type rifle, but it's definitely uh, something that you can reach out, okay? So um, you got a rail system up here to mount anything that you need, okay? Um, comes with a mag, pull mags. I'm a big fan of Magpul, okay? Um, Magpul furniture uh, has a stock. Pretty much standard, um, you know, nothing too special about it. But, what I, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, it's a very well-built weapon. It shoots very flat. Today, I actually went to the range. I'm gonna include some video on that. Um, and one thing I wanna mention about my range day, when you go to the range, don't just go just to fire off rounds. Go with a purpose. You're gonna notice in my uh, in the video, what I was doing was, <clears throat> I was coming up, and you may have said I was looking at the target for accuracy. I really wasn't worried about that too much. What I'm really trying to do is, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to practice my sight picture. This is what is important when you're shooting. Don't worry about your accuracy until you learn how to get the sight picture. Because if you can't see what you're shooting, you can't hit it. It don't matter where the bullet going, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to get learn to get a good sight picture. So what a drill I always do is, I'm coming at it ready, and I'm coming up, right? And I'm getting the sight picture, and I'm firing a couple rounds. Coming back down, coming back up, getting the sight picture. Those are the drills you should be doing in the range. Use your range time to be a better shooter, okay? That's what that's what you would be seeing in the video. So I wasn't looking at the target for accuracy. Uh, you know, kind of, but really, I'm trying to practice getting myself back on target, okay? That's, that's the purpose of that. So um, this is pretty much it for this review. Um, I like her. She's, um, she's, uh, she's very nice, but... One thing I do want to mention, right? Now, I told you that 5.56, five, where did I put the mag? Where did, oh, <laughs> put it in the gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a 5.56 five, magazine, okay? You can also shoot 300 blackout out of this. Now, I told you before, it's okay. Um, these are two cartridges, okay? Let's look at these first. So this is a 5.56, okay? This is a 300 blackout, all right? Now, they fit in the same cartridge, I mean, in the same mag. They are totally two different rounds, okay? I can't stress this enough. You do never, ever, 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 ever want to make the mistake of loading this mag with this round and try to shoot it into this gun. Let me repeat that. A 5.56, five, this round will fit in this magazine without a problem, okay? If I wanna shoot this round out of this gun, I will have no issues as long as I'm not suppressed. If I'm suppressed, then I'm gonna have issues. If I ever make the mistake of shooting this round through this mag, through this gun, it's gonna be a very bad day. I'm gonna ruin my gun and I'm gonna ruin my hand, okay? I can't stress this enough. If you're ever considering getting a 300 blackout 
and you have a 556, make sure you have a system of recognizing what mag are you grabbing, okay? I can't stress how important that is, all right? You see, I have both weapons here. I love both weapons, but I guarantee you there's a system in place where I would never mix these up, okay? Because this is we, this is something that's very serious, right? So um, I'm going to show you some range footage. Um, had a good time. Uh, my granddaughter is uh, recording um, my video. I owe her a range day. I, I, uh, I couldn't wait for her the day I had to go, so... Yeah, I, I owe a range day, <laughs> but um, uh, and that's okay. Let me let me touch on that. All right, teach your people, whoever it is, your kids, your grandkids, nephews, whoever it is. Right, if you're gonna have weapons around, teach them how to operate them, teach them safety, because accidents occur with lack of knowledge. Okay, so you want your your people right to understand safety and understand the seriousness of this um guns don't kill people stupid people kill people okay so <laughs> let's keep that in mind so listen i hope you guys enjoy the range footage uh i'm gonna close this video out by like i always do man y'all take care of each other you love each other all right and guys be blessed really care about So this is the FN. It shoots a little to the right. Uh, I haven't got these uh, sights real locked in. I got a couple of flyers, but uh, pretty pretty good group. Uh, not too bad uh, for iron sights. But, uh, she's a flat shooter, man. I love her. Love the way she shoots. regular single shot then I'm gonna go binary um, single shot is one pull um, one shot binary a pull a shot release a shot so single shot first then binary
guys. So, so you see, I dialed in pretty good. It's about 15 yards. She's dialed in pretty good. So now I'm going uh, single shot to binary. So now group you see, binary. Okay. One thing you're going to notice when you're going that second shot, that second shot is not going to be as on target. It's hard to get, you got to really practice the side picture. So I had a few flyers. I had uh, 15 yards. But uh, it's still a decent goal. So, uh, 18 total. So this is all the total. Um, you know, regular target just in, you know, in, in the uh, in the middle, um, in the bottom. Say. But um, so the target, we're gonna consider that a flyer. Flyers. So that's the thing with that the trigger. You're gonna to to really work on that second shot. I guarantee you, the first shot was in here. The second shot, I had a couple of flyers. So um. It's fun though. <laughs> you can't deny it's fun. Got it. So, uh, all right, guys, this is my baby right here. Um, we're going to show a couple of rounds, um, seven, seven yards. I'm not sure how accurate my dot's going to be today. I realized that um, it, uh, it came a little loose, uh, so I had to remount it. So Might be a little off, but we're gonna see what it does, okay? Yeah, she was a little off. Um, she's sitting a little low to the left. I made some adjustments and got some of these in line, but she was sitting a little, she's a little off. I'm well, having fun today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I made an adjustment and uh, got it got it right. But um, I'm going to dial it in a little bit better later on. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But um, as you see, she's uh, she's a good shooter. Somebody's about to have some real fun. It's Father's, Father's Day weekend. Yep, yep. Somebody's getting treated. <laughs> Tomorrow's supposed to be just as big. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Gatling gun.